Hey, Damaris. What's Hi, up? teacher. Hey, how is it going today? Uh, today, I was in the morning, I was in my work. The afternoon, I was in my house. Oh, okay, you didn't work in the afternoon. Uh, yes, I work. I was work. I I worked. I work. I worked. Yes. Okay. Nice. Um. In that case, you don't need verb to be. Simple ah no, you don't need verb to be. Teacher, yeah. I can make the last homework. It's uh, very com complicated. Oh, yeah. Ah, about about what? About the exam. One. The exam. The final exam. Yes, uh, the last week, yesterday, today, I I was uh, made, but I can't. It's okay. muy difficult. You couldn't do the, the final exam yet. Yes. But the final exam, we haven't reached the the end of the, fin the section five. Maybe... Uh, but did you finish the section five already? No. Uh, three answer uh, is for homework, not can make. Okay. Uh, not a problem. Don't worry. You can send uh, a screenshot, remember, in the WhatsApp group with the section. So I can guide you how to do the exercise, okay? In the section five. In the section five, the final exam, correct. Okay? Yes. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be checking so I can give you some indications about how to do the exercises. Okay, All right? teacher, thank you. No problem, sure. Okay, uh, Rebecca Maria and Mr. Daniel, uh, welcome, how is it going? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. good evening, everyone. Hey, good evening. How was how was that weekend of yours, Rebecca? Uh huh. And Xiomara, welcome. How was that weekend from yours? Did you spend a good time? Did you do anything different? Any activity? <laughs> Hello, Tomara. Uh, can you hear me? Ah, uh, yes. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. We can. Thank you. Uh, yes, my weekend was busy as always. Yesterday, a uh, Saturday, I worked. The whole Saturday. Yes. And Sunday resting. Yes, but rest to work. But here at home, I do many, many things. I believe so. <laughs> resting from activities never, right? Yes. Never. <laughs> okay. Sure. And now that you are a mother, we understand that it's more difficult for you. Because you are a mother, right? Yes, I am a mother. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Uh, Daniel got children. I don't remember if you got children. Yes, I had two two, two children. Two children. Okay. Yes, in my case, teacher, um, on the Saturday, I am and I visit in the morning, but in the afternoon, I get a little time with my wife, and I uh, drink some beer, and oh, I rest really? in the afternoon mm -hmm. ooh, rest, relax. It was pretty <laughs> yeah, relaxing. I, yeah, and I spend. In the afternoon and a good afternoon, but I nice. enjoy it with my wife. Yes. What what place did you go with your wife? What place did you go to? Uh, well, no, only in, in on the house in this. Oh. Uh, yeah. How do you say terraza? On the terrace. On terrace. The yes. Yes, in the terrace. I just in in the terrace in just moment, but in my house, and I have I have a in a good view. Because in front of my house is the Ilopango Lake. Wow. Ah, nice. really? 
Yes. Oh, you have a mention, mister. <laughs> <laughs> you have a mention. You should invite your class to... Sure. To see. <laughs> The, the or some beer, barbecue, no? yeah, some barbecue and uh, some beer, yeah, that's a good nice, nice plan. <laughs> okay, Tamara and Rebecca Damaris, take note, take note on that. <laughs> Aha, okay, very good. Okay, uh, welcome, guys. Thank you for joining to another class. Uh, this is the last week of your model. This week we finish. How do you feel that we finish this week? How you feel? Uh -huh. I feel great. I have learned a lot in this course. And that's a kind of, a, I don't know, uh, how do you say? Me siento y realizada o, o feliz because uh, I have learning a lot from the beginning of the course with support. Okay, that's great. But that's easy. I feel I feel happy. That's it. Okay. I feel happy. Yes. Happy. Uh, what else? Any other adjective that you can use? I feel great. Uh, I don't know. Cool, maybe, etc. Because I have learned a lot, etc., etc. Okay, that's pretty cool. What about you, Damaris? How do you feel that you are in the final week in your course? I feel great because I learn more vocabulary and I think that the course, uh, how do you say course? Uh, the course, course. The course uh, have a lot of uh, contenido. Content. Content that learn more. Okay, nice. Excellent, that's it. Pretty good. Okay, nice. Your answers are great. Okay, Daniel is showing uh, the cell phone, but we don't see. Okay. Okay, pretty good. Okay, perfect, guys. Uh, welcome one more time. That is great. What are you saying that you have been learning throughout this course? That's perfect. Let me open your presentation. I have it ready. And just uh, let me open it. Do you see it? Yes. Pre advanced. Sure to sure. Nice. Okay. What is today's topic? Today's topic we are going to be sharing about, culture. about the culture. culture. Culture is part mm -hmm. of our identity, of our. Identity, repeat, identity. 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 Okay. What about if I make you the question? Um, what can you say that is uh, about El Salvador's identity and we as Salvadorian? What is the identification we have as Salvadorian people? What is our culture? Yes, Daniel? Well, teacher, I think the the most important identity identity for Salvadoran people is the food in this, specifically the pupusas, because I think the this kind of culture for food is a is a good part around the world, and I think the old country has this identity. Uh, some for the part of culture and the food is the a specific example for the Salvadoran culture is the pupusas. What do you see yeah. now? Yeah, correct. You said it. Uh, food. That's one word. Food here in El Salvador is pretty, pretty important and interesting. 
Uh, we live in El Salvador and we haven't tasted dishes from any from other parts in San Salvador in El Salvador from other departments that's it uh, what about you Rebecca and Sumara and Damaris uh, when you think about our identity what what comes to your mind or what you can say um I agree with Daniel with the proposals this is as a part of our identity and what else? Uh -huh. <laughs> the, the music, the cumbias. <laughs> ah, music, that is another keyword. Music, correct. Cumbias, only, for example, in Salvador. I think uh, the vocabulary we have is very unique. That's it, pretty good. The vocabulary, the way we speak, right? Yes. Hey, hand me out that that uh, that volado, right? Hand me out or pass me. Pass me the volado. Uh, okay, <laughs> uh, let's play chivola, etc. That's it. Uh -huh. The vocabulary we use, it's pretty unique. That's it. What else? Music? Uh, you said music. Uh, for example, uh, cumbias. Yes. What else about music? Um... Torito Pinto? Uh -huh. Torito Pinto, uh, folklore music. The, we the folklorical, uh -huh. folklorical music. That's it. Yes, Daniel, Ada. Uh -huh. What else? Uh, Xiomara warned me with this, uh, with this um, topic, because I think the folklore, dancing folklore, it's a... Um, it's an important, important identity for El Salvador, too. Yeah, that's right. Then remember, hey, welcome to September, guys. No more August. August has gone. We are in September, in the month of September. Pretty soon, we are going to be celebrating. What do we celebrate in September? Independence Day. Our <laughs> Independence Day, correct. So uh, many people are going out to the streets. We are gonna watch many festivities, uh, as you said, dancing, dance, people dancing, folklorical music, etc. That's it, pretty good. Okay. Some teacher. Uh huh. The tradition we have. Traditions, that's it, very good. That's uh, one word that we have. Traditions, for example, what traditions do we have? Traditions? Bola de fuego. <laughs> ah, the fireballs. Uh, the the fireballs. Hapa, right? The Hapa fireballs. That's it. Uh -huh. The patronales, la pat fiesta patronales too. Uh, departmental festivities. That's it. Okay, yeah. departmental festivities. We have many in El Salvador. Good. Okay, let's see. Um, the next part, practice these questions when talking about culture, you can make. Daniel, make uh, Rebecca one of these questions, please. One option. Uh, the second one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Read it to uh, Rebecca. Rebecca, I have a question about you. Rebecca, what's the culture that you admire? In El Salvador. Or around the world. Check culture around the world. Oh, sorry, sorry, around the world. <laughs> around the world, I admire Japanese culture. Hey, same as same as me. I love Japanese culture. Yes. It's pretty Perfect. interesting. In yes. Food. I love the food. <laughs> Only the food. Sushi, you love sushi? Yes, I love yes. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. Same, same me. I love sushi too. Okay, and uh, let's see, Xiomara, and what's the culture that you want to know more about? Xiomara? I would like to know, I would like to know about Japanese people and Chinese people. Ah, Chinese and Japanese. They are different cultures, pretty similar, yeah. but they have the different. Asians. 
Asian culture, Asia, 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 martiales, martial arts, mm -hmm. religion, right? Mm -hmm. Many things, correct. For fight, for fight. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, let's see, what's the culture that you feel interest in? Tamaris? Uh, what's the cultural, the, the first interest. question? Of the your interest, interest. yes. Uh, how do you say Semana Santa? Uh, okay, but the question is, what's the culture around the world that you feel interest? Not only in El Salvador, it can be from any country. Uh, Semana Santa, how do you say Semana Santa? Uh, Holy Week. Ah, I think that Holy Week, because another country uh, celebrate this. What countries do celebrate uh, Holy Week? In uh, from Central America. Central America. Yes, Central America. Guatemala. Yes, Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Eh, Guatemala. Yes, I... But uh, Guatemala doesn't have vacations in, in, during the Holy Week. No. I don't think so. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they don't. They don't have vacation with like us. No, it's, it should be different. Similar, but no vacations. Holy Week vacations? No, I think. Uh, Ada and you? In Somaria Violeta, what about you? What's the culture that you want or that you would like to know more about? Uh, maybe uh, Italy with the Italian food, I like. Oh, uh, nice. Do you like pasta? Molto buona, molto buona. <laughs> Right? Pasta, linguini. Tutta okay. quella pasta che vuoi mangiare, ma mm, sembra molto buona. <laughs> yes, that's it. Pretty yeah. delicious. Okay, guys. We are going to be checking uh, this link that is about culture and around the world. We have many things we can learn about culture because we know about El Salvador's culture, but from another places, we we can read about them. Okay, let's see. Please help me, uh, Damaris, with this uh, first uh, paragraph. Uh, What's cultural what influence? What is the pronunciation? Common, the word common? Uh, countries that command. Command, e influence? Influence. Influence. Countries that command cultural influence are often cinnamons with five, five food, fashion and easy living. They are trendsetters. Uh, trendsetters. Trendsetters. The country equivalent of the cooler older sibling. Their product have that certain certain this is French je ne sais quoi Genesis quoi G, je ne sais quoi je ne sais quoi uh -huh. that makes them fly a little faster of the service their music television and movies are absorbed by other cultures becoming part of a wide Global conversation. This country, these countries are leading the way in art, fashion, and entertainment. Entertainment. And entertainment. Entertainment. Okay. Entertainment. Okay. Entertainment. Yeah, that's it. Entertainment, guys. Um, where do we receive influence from in El Salvador? From where? Yes, Daniel? Principally, I think the Salvador 
the server receive influence that USA from from USA from the US and correct I think that we we are invite invaditos come invite ah yeah. um, invaded 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 yes. many many kind of of this um culture from TV, radio, uh, inter internet, and another music principally. And I think the, the principal is USA. Yeah, correct. We receive influence directly from the US. That's it. That's correct. Okay, pretty good. All right, guys, if you check when you go down, we have the first country. Ah, okay, Xiomara. You like Italy, right? Yes. I love okay. Italy too. Yeah, number one that appears in the website. Italy. Italy. What do you know about Italy? What do you know about besides the food? Only the food. <laughs> Only food. About yeah. artists, artists people in, from the past? No? Artists... Singers, uh, music. Laura Pausini. Ah, correct. You know, right? Laura Pausini is Italian from Italy. Okay, very good. What comes to your mind when you list when you hear Italy? When you hear the word Italy, what comes to your mind? Laura Pausini. Uh huh. Pasta. Pizza. Pizza. Food in general, correct? Mamma mia. Uh huh. Mamma mia. Little Caesar. The, the language is pretty nice. Ah, it's Italian language. It's pretty cool. The uh -huh. I I was live in Italy around eight months in a few years. Ah, uh, really? Yeah, but I learned an Italian language language and I prepare any time any kind of food. But uh, I I think this is the country really really beautiful. Wow! Yeah, it is it's amazing. Yes, it is because as you know the topic is culture. Uh -huh. We can we can find many many important details about that. Okay. The, yeah. Uh huh. The history of their architecture. Ah, the architecture from the the history about the architecture. Yes, about the churches that they have a certain style, right? Gothic, uh, and I don't know what else. But yes, you're right. The architecture in Italy is pretty beautiful. We have the Toscana, the Toscana part. We have a lot of things. The wine. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> the wine. Yeah, the, the, the wine, yeah. Vine yards. I I believe that is the word. Okay, Sumara, uh, can you read us about Italy? What is the capital of Italy, Sumara? The capital is Roma. Rome. Go, 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 okay. Yes. Let's see. Correct. <laughs> Rome. Okay. What is the region? Is Europe. Europe. In Europe. Okay, Sumara. Italy is a soft Central European country whose boot shaped borders extend into the Mediterranean Sea. The country's historical cities were renowned, cuisine and geographic beauty make it a popular destination for more than 40 million tourists each year. The nation is home to Mount Etna, Europe's tallest and most active volcano and houses to countries within its borders, the Vatican and San Marino. Ah, so you know about the Vatican, right? Famous, famous in movies, yes, 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 yes. etc. Okay, very good. And let's see the, the Mount Etna. Etna. It I is a volcano. You didn't know about uh, Mount Etna? No. It's amazing. 
Just uh, let me check a quick pictures. Some pictures about Mount Etna. See? In Italy. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Wow. It is always That's active. Volcano. 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 It is volcano always in Italiano. <laughs> I in Italian volcano. No idea. <laughs> I need to learn Italian. Okay. Continue. Italy's. Italy's history started with the Etruscans. 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 Etruscans, an ancient civilization that was eventually supplanted by the Romans in the third century BC, before Christ. Yeah. Italy's city states were the first to embrace the European Renaissance. European okay. Renaissance. European. European. Renaissance, Renaissance. Okay, let's check pronunciation. Renaissance. 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 Is Renaissance. Renaissance. Yes. Okay. Uh, continue, please. Uh, the country became unified in the 19th century. Century. Okay, what do you know about famous people uh, from the past? In Italy, about artists, do you remember? The Pope, the, the Papa, how do you say in English? Ah, uh, the Pope. The Pope. Ah, but Juan the Pope Juan has Pablo. always existed. But I mean, uh, famous artists. Um, past. Uh -huh. Galileo Galilei. Galileo, uh -huh. correct. Who else from the past? Cristobal Colón. Cristobal? Yes. He's, Was he Italian? Uh, he's, born, he's born in Genoa. Genoa. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I Who thought he Rebecca? was Spanish. Uh -huh. uh, yes, Rebecca? Julio Cesar, Marco Polo. Julio. Julio Cesar, Marco Polo. Uh, Donatello? Picasso. Picasso, correct. And Donatello, no? Mm. Yeah, Donatello, the, the Tortoise Ninja. Yeah, correct, they're from the <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci, correct. Da Vinci, yes. many, many uh, famous people from the past. Dante Alighieri, too. Dante Alighieri, correct. All right, Chomara, what else about Italy? Italy. Italy is a republic with more than 60 million people. It's a capital. Rome is its largest city. About 80% of Italy's population is Christian, with most people identifying as Roman Catholic. But about 20% of people claim to be atheist, atheist or agnostic, despite living in the pub's backyard. Hey, this, pre this is pretty interesting, see? People claim, claim to be, I am, they say, I am, I am, I am, atheist or? Agnostic. What is agnostic? What's that? Don't, uh, and, uh, somebody don't believe, doesn't believe in the Anything. Christian. The Christian. Christianity or any religion, right? Yeah. Any religion, religion. yes. Someone... Who, Someone who does not know or believes that it is impossible to know if a God exists. Oh, in other words, these people are lost. They don't believe in God. They are lost in the world. Despite, <laughs> a pesar de, despite living, despite living the in Pope the Pope's church. As a neighbor, yeah. they don't believe. Mm -hmm. Incredible, right? Okay. Uh, this uh, paragraph, please. In some ways, Italy's economy, the fourth largest in this ever zone, is essentially two economies, a higher growth economy in the developed industrial north and a more sluggish one in the less developed south. 
Italy's main exports are machinery and transport equipment, chemicals, apparel, and wine. Uh, okay, Italy's main exports are machinery, machinery, equipment, chemicals, apparel, apparel, and wine. The wine. delicious yeah, wine. That's, that's true. Yes, they have excellent wines. That's it. Okay, pretty cool. Nice, nice. Uh, okay, the small paragraph, the last one. From the art artwork of Leonardo da Vinci uh -huh. to the fashion houses of Milan, Italy's cultural influence has always been performed. Remnants of Greek et Etruscan, Etruscan. And, Etruscan and Roman civilization do uh, don't the peninsula. The country's regional cuisines inspire chefs worldwide. Worldwide, okay, okay. And uh, Daniel, how was your experience living in Italy those months that you say? Great. I guess I have an, an experience around eight months. Wow. Almost a year. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, nice. Uh, welcome, Hector, to the class. We are reading about uh, cultural aspects from countries. Okay, thank you, Tiomara. Okay, nice. Next country that we are going to read about is oh, this one, France. Uh, what comes to your mind when you hear France? Love. <laughs> Love. Yes, a romantic Why? country. <laughs> really? Yes. Ah, okay. It comes to romantic love, romantic love, couples. The croissant. Okay. Ah, but say it in is in in French, Rebecca. Okay. Say it in French. I don't know. Uh, try, try out. <laughs> le, le, le croissant. <laughs> uh -huh, that is French, Le Croissant. Uh, what else? What else comes to your mind when thinking about France? Besides the love. Uh -huh, Carla, Felicia. The tower. The, the tower. Ah, yes. the Eiffel. The Eiffel the Tower. Eiffel tower maybe. The monument, correct? Uh -huh, the Eiffel Tower. Okay, pretty good. Okay, Carla, if you can help me out reading about France. What is the capital of France? Paris. Paris, 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 Paris. yes. Okay, it's in Europe as well. Okay, Carla. Okay. The influence France has on the world, both in the past and today, is difficult to overstate. Located in Western Europe, France is one of the world's oldest countries and its reach extends around the globe through science, politics, economics, and perhaps above all culture. All culture, so, okay. Okay, pretty good. Uh, have you seen the movie Ratatouille? Yes. Yes, like it. Nice movie, right? That is yes. inspired in the French culture cuisine. Next paragraph. Mm -hmm. Sorry, in the Middle Ages, France evolved through kingdom, empire, and finally into a republic. It was one of the first. Wait. Nations. <laughs> nations to champion the rights of the individual. France today is a democracy with a separation of power failing between executive, executive, legislative, and judicial branches of government. Of government, like in El Salvador, right? In El Salvador, we still have the three powers. As far as I know, we have the executive power, Salvador, Next, the legislative and the judicial. Okay, next. 
the World, World Bank, Bank classifies France as a wealthy, high income nation. French citizens look to the federal government to warranty certain social services such as education, health care, and pensions for retirement. Ah, that's cool. Like El Salvador. The same, exactly the same here in El Salvador. <laughs> yes. <laughs> French citizens look to the federal government to guarantee. The pronunciation is guarantee. Guarantee certain guarantee. social. Yes, services such as education, health care, and pensions for retirement. That means that you live that you live great with your pension in France. Nice, pretty nice. Okay, the this paragraph, please. The French economy is one of the world's largest and it's a mixture of private enterprise and government involvement. Tourist, tourist is a major contributor, contributor to the economy. France generally tops list of the most visited countries. Other major oh, economy Major's sectors economy. Economic Good. sectors include industry, agriculture, energy, energy and the defense. The country is one of the world's top exporters of we weapons. Weapons. Oh, check. That is pretty bad in certain in certain topics. That is the one of the top most exporters of weapons okay excellent 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 but but france is pretty nice if you if you continue checking you can read about these uh, facts or these numbers that can tell you more and below you can check pictures about the country let's check some this is the flag check look at that palace isn't beautiful? Yes, Daniel. Yes, teacher. I have a important news for friends, for you and everyone. Uh -huh. It's the next Friday, September 8th, start or begin the Rugby World Cup. They are the sport rugby. Yes. Ah, friends. Okay. ah really? Yes. Next this, Thursday, this Friday, Friday, start, eight, begin, on the yes. Yeah. Ah, okay, nice, pretty cool to know. I, I've i seen rugby, it's pretty dangerous as well. Yeah, but it's really interesting, it's a good, it's, yeah, a, it's a sporting team, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I've seen it, I've seen it. Okay, check, hey, there it is, the Eiffel Tower. France. Okay, cool country. Next country uh, is the United States. Okay, Damaris, you can read about the United States. What is the capital? Uh, Washington. Washington. Was yes, Washington. Washington DC. Washington DC. DC Comics. No. No, DC Comics from the <laughs> cartoons. What is DC? I don't know, teacher. District of Columbia. Okay, if you want to know what's District of Columbia, there it is. Check Washington, DC. And you can find. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. All right. There is the first paragraph. Whenever you want. Me? See? Uh, See? The United yes. States. 
the United States of America is a North American nation that is the world most dominant economic and military power. Likewise, its cultural, cultural imprint spans the world, led in large part by its popular culture, expressed in music, movies, and television. In television. Okay, what movies have you seen from the U.S.? What movies, the guys? Rapid and Furious. Uh, fast, fast and fast, Furious. Fast and Furious in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. It was it was filmed in Los Angeles. Yes. Yeah, they are nice movies. I like them because of the cars. Okay, pretty cool. Next, the country. The country is. Grappling with the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and the ensuing deep, mm -hmm. deep economic recession and calls for greater social justice. 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 Reignited. Justice. Reuniting in the country following the deeds of Black American George Floyd as the hands of police in May 2020. 2020. Or 2020. Public, public demands. Public demands to address racial inequality in the country expressed in institutions such as the criminal justice system and healthcare. It's similar similar movements in country around the world. Around the world. Okay, in other words, the United States is a very controversial country. They have a lot of things that they are working on, but even though they have a lot of racial inequality. Yes. For the many American people, not all of them, they are racist. They are in, in many countries as well, not only in the US. Okay, pretty good. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Damaris, for reading a little bit about the United States, complicated country, in my opinion. Okay. Yes. Yes, it is. Hector, hello, Hector. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Uh, okay. Hector, oh, you're going to read a little bit hey, about Japan, the country that, yeah. that Rebecca likes me as well because of sushi. Uh -huh. Okay, Ooh. but sushi is uh, originally from China, did you know? That sushi is from China, not from Japan. Yes. No, seriously. Yeah, yeah, it is from China. Okay. Japan capital, Hector. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Ah. Japan. Uh, capital of Japan. Ah, yes. uh, um. let's see. Tokyo. Tokyo. Tokyo Hotel. No, the musical group, no, it's only Tokyo. Okay. Hector, can you read us something about Japan? Yes, teacher. Japan, one of the world's most literal and technical advanced nation, is a East Asian archipelago country made up of four primary Islam or more time. See six thousand eight hundred others, while most of Japan is covered by mountains and heavily heavily wooded areas. The country's people live a district is distinctly simply urban lifestyle. Lifetime. Long country influenced by the neighborhood 
today the country blend its ancient, ancient tradition with aspects of Western life. Western life. Western. Ah, okay. Western life. Yeah. Okay, guys, this word, we pronounce it islands. Repeat it. Islands. islands. A island. letter is, no, letter is, doesn't sound, is island. 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 Yes, like this. Island. I, island. Island, in plural. Island. Okay. Islands. No letter S. Pronunciation letter S, no. What? Okay. Seriously. Excuse me? Daniel? Seriously, don't pronounce the letter S. No, it doesn't. Doesn't have pronunciation. <laughs> I wrong all my life. <laughs> but now you aren't anymore. Check. You type the word. Listen. Island. 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 No island. Island. Pronounce it. Uh -huh. Island. Guys? Island. 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 Correct. Okay. Hector, continue. The country. The country can trace its political implication to the late fourth and early early first century BC civilization flourished in the late 8th to the late 12th century, followed by even more country of military rule, the country was is ice, isolated mm -hmm. isolated from the early 1600 to the May 19 century at the, at the which point its ports open up to the west Japan had grand territorial amb ambition in the 1900 invited several countries only to be the in World War II Okay. Yes, Daniel. Teacher, what is the correct pronunciation in this guy when this reference to the centuries like 19, 19 or what? Okay. Uh, in this part is early the fifth centuries. It, it means number five, fifth. Then 12 centuries. Then continues in the early this, this, uh, yes, 1600s. Yes. 1600s. I've heard that people pronounce it like that. 1600s. Centuries. To the mid 19th. Okay. 1600s. 1600s. Mm hmm. 1600s, yes, to the mid 19th century. Okay, and we have the other one, 19th, 1900s. Because sometimes when the years are, for example, uh, 1964, for example, 1964, or when you have centuries and uh, numbers like this one, it is the 19th century 1600 centuries that means centuries okay if you if you still have doubts about pronunciation we can check uh, how to pronounce Century. 
and we can check. All right, there is, we are gonna find how to pronounce it in English. There he is. Uh -huh. Ah, no information in this website. Ah, yes. Life in the 1600s was hard. Listen. Did you listen? Daniel? Yes, yes. Life in the 1600s was hard. Life? In the 1600s. In the, in the end, uh, say the letter S. Yes, because that means centuries. Letter S means yeah, okay. centuries. 1600s. Life in the 1600s was hard. That's it. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Okay, nice. Same here. You pronounce it? 1900s. 1900s. 1900s century. Correct. 1900. Okay, pretty good. Okay, thank you, Hector, for reading a little bit about Japan. Let's see, uh, Rebecca, continue with, with the country that you want to be someday. Thank you, Ter. Japan has, wow. <laughs> a parliamentary. Par parliamentary. Government with a constitutional monarchy. The emperor still holds his title as a symbol of national unity, but elected polit politicians politicians hold actual decision making power. The nation with the third largest largest economy in the world, Japan ha has largely, largely bounced back from the manuf has largely uh, manufacturing this crop housed by the 2011 11 earthquake and tsunami disaster. The country is among the world's largest producer of motor vehicles, 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 electronic equipment, and steel. The service sector makes up the highest percentage of the economy in terms of gross domestic products and employment. In employment. And you remember about the, the earthquake and the tsunami that happened in the 2011? Yes. Remember that? Yes, I remember. That was a, a, a huge disaster for Japan. Yeah, it's, a, yes. it's a horrible disaster. Yeah, it was. It was. Okay. Uh -huh. Japan? Japan is known worldwide for its traditional art including tea ceremonies, calligraphy, and flowers arranging. The country has legacy of distinctive gardens, sculpture, and poetry. Po poetry. Japan is home to more than a dozen UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is the birthplace of sushi. One Whoa, of the most culinary exports. Okay, let's stop, Rebecca, there, uh -huh. The country has developed oh. many forms or martial arts. Its most famous traditional sport is sumo wrestling, which can trace its original to the eighth century. Oh, pretty interesting, right? Yes. Sumo wrestling comes from the 8th century. That is from the very past. Okay. Yes. 
Nice. Uh, in sushi, birthplace of sushi, but uh -huh, Daniel, were you going to say something about this? Uh, in a few minutes ago, you told, told us that sushi is born in China. Uh-huh, that's why I know. Okay. Uh-huh, but the thing is that maybe Japanese people they improved the techniques of preparing sushi. Maybe okay. referring to this. Okay, okay. But if, if you don't believe me, we can investigate. That's why reading, it's pretty cool. Where, let me try this. We have just a few minutes. Where sushi came from? Uh, it says origin, it says Japan, but uh -huh. the history of sushi, -da -da -da. this is interesting. -da -da. The history of sushi -da -da -da. began with paddy fields where fish were around, right? talking about the recipe, but I want to know the country. Created, was created in Japan, ah, okay. Okay, they made it uh, or they perfection sushi, in other words. Okay. okay, yes, that's my opinion. But here it says that it came from Japan. The origin is Japan, but no problem. Guys, uh, do you like this website? Like it? Yes, teacher. Check. It's really, the... really interesting. Yeah, it is. The link is in the presentation, as you know. There is, and the presentation is already in the Google Drive. It is uh, already uploaded. Check session 13, culture, around the world. The link is there. You can continue reading about many countries. Check Germany, Switzerland, Australia, China, Greece, Sweden, many, many countries. Okay. All right, guys. Just let me tell you that you have if you have questions with your assignment, please take a screenshot and send what assignment or what part of the exercise you are doing so I can help you out with indications. All right? If you have if you have any issues. Uh, thank you guys for joining tonight see you tomorrow for class number 14 we are about to finish our only three classes and john lennon's song goodbye goodbye <laughs> goodbye yeah. Bye. okay guys have a good night take care have a good night thank you thank yeah you, teacher the same to you useful thank you daniel yes carla they are pretty good links we we can use to study more about english thank you bye bye good night thank you see you good tomorrow night. for everyone bye bye tomorrow until tomorrow see you